Now I want to demonstrate a slightly different approach to calculating your super elevation. I know there's a lot of people out there that like to calculate their super elevation in a spreadsheet and just import it into the software. You know, some people, they just don't want to use a rules file or whatnot. They just have their trusty spreadsheet that they've used for 20 years and they're comfortable using that type of workflow. So I want to show you how you can use that kind of workflow to get your super elevation information into the software. So now we're gonna focus on creating the super elevation for this road here. This is called London Road. So I'm gonna jump into a separate file here where I have the super elevation section created for London Road. So I'm gonna open up this file here. And inside this file, I have my super elevation section already created. And again, I just use that same workflow that I showed previously, I just used to create super elevation section. I also have my lanes created in here as well. So this is just a two lane road. It's not a divided highway. So very simple scenario here. And again, I just created those lanes using the create super elevation lanes tool. Okay. Now the difference here that I want to demonstrate is how we can import a spreadsheet and apply our super elevation transitions to these lanes. Okay. So we're going to totally ignore the calculate super elevation in the software, we're gonna actually bring it in from a spreadsheet. So how do we do that? Well, we have a tool here, it's called import super elevation. Okay, and that's gonna bring up a dialogue look something like this. It's gonna prompt you to locate your super elevation section. So I'm just gonna select that, right? And then now it's going to ask you for a file that you wanna import. Now notice I have a CSV file here. And that's been set up inside of Excel. So let me show you what that looks like. Navigate over here to my Windows Explorer. And open that file up for you. So you can kind of just see the formatting of it. Okay, so let's go down here. Let's take a look at Excel and the CSV file that we're gonna import here. So it's very important when you uh, import the CSV file, it has to be formatted a certain way. So this first column here is gonna define the lane name. So this lane name has to match the lane name inside of your file here. So if I come over here, this, this lane should be the, the southbound lane, this one should be the northbound lane. So you need to make sure those match. So this is the lane name, this is the station, this is your cross slope. This is the type of transition. So you can see here, uh, full super, normal crown, whatever. Um, or actually this is the side of the road. The RS and the LS, this stands for right side and the LS stands for, for left side. And then this column here stands for the type of super elevation. So normal crown, zero, half flat, whatever, reverse crown, full super. That's what this is. This is just L for, for a transition length and then it's a zero for non, um, the non-linear curve length. Type. So generally it's a zero. If you're doing a linear transition, this is always going to be L. If you're doing parabolic, you would make this P. And then again, this is the uh, the transition um, point type. Okay, so this is just the, the general basic format of this file. And I'll show you how you can create this real easily using one of the style sheets as well. So this is the information that I'm going to import into here and assign it to my lane. So I'm just going to go through and continue clicking through my prompts here. Notice here's my super elevation lanes, and here's the information that I want to import. So it synced those up. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then now notice the colors changed. That's a good sign. That means it brought in that information. And now if I go ahead and click one of my lanes, you can see I got my 2% there. I got my 6% full super up there. And all my super elevation transitions have now been assigned to my lanes. Okay. So this was the manual non-rules-based approach to uh, getting your super elevation into the software. Now do keep in mind, you know, if you do make changes to your horizontal alignment, you know, these cross slopes, those transition cross slopes, those cross slopes aren't gonna change necessarily, right? Cause it's not gonna try and recompute super elevation cause you've imported it from a spreadsheet. So you would have to remove those cross slopes and re-import them. 
Okay, so it's very important to understand the difference between the rules-based approach and the non-rules-based approach. Also, if you take a look at the properties of the super elevation section, you'll see there's no design criteria stored on the super elevation section. It just has the, the information there for the start and end station. And when you go to do a report, you're also going to see a slight difference as well in the report header. If you recall when I was showing you the report header for, and the report for the uh, State Route 97 corridor, you know, it listed all the design criteria and the rules file up at the top of the report. Um, when you do it this way by just importing a spreadsheet, it just totally strips that stuff out of there because it's not calculating the super elevation from a, a rules file. So if you come over to super elevation calculation, you can't even use that one because it's not using the rules and everything. But you do still have access to some of these other reports, which is still pretty useful information. Okay, now let's talk about the formatting. We always get a lot of questions about how do I format this uh, style sheet to put it in Excel and then import it into the software. Well, one of the great ways you can do that is if you want to start by using the rules file just to kind of get a starting point, let the software calculate the super elevation for you, and then select your super elevation section come over to super elevation to CSV. It will automatically get that in the proper format. And then all you gotta do is right click and say export to Excel. And then that will send that over to Excel and then you can make any adjustments to your stations and cross slopes there. And then you could just use that same process to get the information back into the, uh, into the file here of import super elevation. Okay, so just wanna, Give you a little heads up on that if you're one of these people that likes to use the spreadsheet method of importing super elevation this is the best way to do it it's just import super elevation and then use utilize that style sheet and some excel to make that happen if you found this video helpful please give it a like if you want to see more such series consider subscribing to our channel thank you and see you next time